All right, YouTube, so we're back, of course, to talk about some Final Fantasy. We are discussing kind of the franchise here, but we are kind of more so focusing on, like, 16 and then, like, 7 Rebirth and, I guess, technically probably the third game. But we're discussing airships because this was a topic that kind of came up relatively recently. i seen Audrey tweet out uh, a few days ago about one of the people working on 16 talking about there maybe not being airships. This is almost always going to be a bit of a polarizing topic if you're like an old school Final Fantasy fan, because I think since like the first Final Fantasy all the way up till nine, like there's been airships, I think, in like just about every game, if not every game. I haven't played them all and I haven't played the old ones in a long time, so I don't quite remember. But yeah, we've had airships for a very long time in the franchise for the first several entries. And then it feels like pretty much since 10, like 10 and beyond, we haven't really had a traditional airship in that you can fly it around. Like, the airship still exists. There's an airship in 10. There's an airship in 12, right? Like, you, there's still the ability to be on an airship or whatever, but you can't control it like you used to back in the day. And obviously, for a game like 10, and really a game like 12, like, there's no reason to even have an airship to control because they're not, it's not open world, right? There's not a world to explore in the way that you could with the older games. And the same can be said for a game like Final Fantasy 16, which we know is similar to 10 and 12 in that it's like zones that you explore. They're bigger, obviously, because those are fucking PlayStation 2 games. But yeah, like they're big zones. You go through like a load screen or whatever it's going to be, some sort of like hidden load screen. You go to the next area, the next zone, whatever, right? There's not this open world to explore. So having an airship in a game like Final Fantasy 16 doesn't really make any sense. And actually, the quote that I mentioned is coming from a Game Informer article with Hiroshi Takai. So I guess we'll just read what's said here instead of the tweet. TLDR on this part, the interviewer is just talking about Final Fantasy XIV because it's Creative Business Unit 3 and how traversal will work in 16 in terms of like mounts and things like that. Takai goes on to say, To tell you the truth, it's pretty much just chocobos. In past Final Fantasy games, you'd have canoes or boats or cars to travel in. But in Final Fantasy XVI, because our game is based on that main world map and traveling from that world map, doing fast travel from that, we found that there wasn't really need for any kind of expanded type of traversal system. So yeah, currently, we only have walking and the chocobos. I think it's too, from what I've seen of 16, like the zones, depending on what zone you're in, they're decent sized, but they're not too big to where like vehicles necessarily make sense, right? Like chocobos are perfectly fine to like run around in these areas and shit. Though in a relatively recent interview, I think in February, Yoshida did talk about there being some level of an airship in 16, where he talks about the Enterprise with his answer, which of course the Enterprise was the ship from Star Trek. So we're going to have it, but more than likely it'll be something I would think on the level with like 10 and like 12, I guess, and stuff where you just... If you have an airship, you just probably fast travel the locations. And actually, like, talking about this and looking this shit up, I did find, like, a Reddit post from a few months ago where they're talking about this Gamatsu interview, and somebody mentioned in the replies that there was, like, a key art that came out, like, last year that had a ship in it, or, like, an airship or whatever, but I felt like it was right, but I couldn't track it down, like, just looking up, like, key art for 16. If, if there's key art that has an airship in it, I just can't find it. But I feel like that's correct. Like, we've been maybe teased there is an airship, but I wouldn't expect it to be anything like 9 and before, right? Because it just... How'd that work? Like, and before I actually track down this, like, Enterprise answer or whatever from Yoshida, like, I was going to talk about, like, how does it even make sense in this world, given that it's a medieval setting? But there is the Fallen, obviously, which is, like, this ancient, highly technologically advanced civilization that, like, died or whatever. I guess there's... They're in the game. They're not dead, because we see, like, fucking Clive fighting, like, machines or whatever. But So I guess, like, the airship or the Enterprise, as Yoshida calls it... I would guess it's like their old technology, which is kind of what we've seen in Final Fantasies before. I think they did that with like the first Final Fantasy, some of the other ones. It's kind of what they did with Final Fantasy X, like the the ship that we get. I can't remember what it's called right now. Uh, like it's like old Albed Machina, right, or whatever the fuck. So like it's a thing we've seen. It's a trope we've seen in Final Fantasy before, but that's probably how it's going to work in 16. And it's also why, but putting that all aside, like the Fallen and stuff like that, that, that's why like vehicles don't make sense in this world. Boats can make sense and like chocobos make sense, but like... You won't be driving a fucking car around. They're going to have like a buggy like 7 or, you know, a car like 8 or whatever. And I think it's perfectly fine given what 16 is that we don't have a controllable airship. Like, it's not impossible to have the ability to like fly in a game that has like zoned areas. Like, that can still work. But it's just, it's not the biggest deal. Like, who cares? Like, we'll live. And if you really think about it, and this is what kind of inspired me to want to make this video. While like, we're only on Final Fantasy 16 and from like Final Fantasy 1 to 9 was, I believe all of them had controllable airships. In terms of time, we've not had airships in the franchise for longer than we did because Final Fantasy IX was like, what, the year 2000, right? We're on 2023. For like 23 years of this like 36-year franchise, we've had Final Fantasies that didn't have controllable airships. So it's like, I get wanting that and I do want that for like, you know, 7 Rebirth potentially or the third game. But we've also, again, for the time that we've had the franchise, just haven't had airships longer than we have. And this is kind of where I've changed as time has gone on. Because, like, in the early days of Remake, like, you know, 2015, 16, maybe 17, like, I was super 
old school. I didn't want them to change anything. I was pissed about the action combat. Where's my turn based? Why is there only one game? All that other shit, right? The same complaints that we still hear from people to this day. But I've changed as time's gone on. And I've talked about it in the past that, you know, I want this overworld map. And I do want these vehicles like the submarine and the airship. And I do still want these things. But it's not the biggest deal if we don't have, like, a controllable high wind. I know people, I know it's going to maybe be a bit of a polarizing topic. But it's just not the biggest deal. They, they could certainly do it with, like, the third game, which is when we should probably be getting the high wind anyways. And depending on where game two ends, Rebirth, uh, we should have most of the map discovered. So it shouldn't be, like, too hard, as hard as gaming development is. Uh, for them to make like open world out of it, it's possible. I'm expecting Rebirth. I think we're all expecting Rebirth to be zoned areas similar to what 16 is doing. And then maybe if we discover most of the map with Rebirth, and they can maybe try to take all those zoned areas and make it something that we can actually fly an airship over. Like That'd be cool. And I definitely want that. And I do want the submarine. I want to explore the ocean and shit. I want to have more to do with the buggy. Because the buggy's cool enough, I guess, in 7. But like, we really don't use it like that much. We get out of the prison. We drive out of the desert. We go across the ocean, the ship breaks down, and we drive over to Nibelheim after, like, uh, fucking Cosmo Canyon. And then we just don't really have a use for the buggy anymore. Like, you can backtrack to certain areas here and there, like, for whatever reason. But, like, still, it's just... I hope they do more with vehicles if they're going to be in the game, right? Like, I want the buggy to be a more prominent thing that we use. And to be clear, when it comes to the remake trilogy, the high one's 100% a part of it. It's just a matter of whether it's something we can control ourselves and, like, fly around... Or if we just go talk to, like, the pilot or Sid or whoever, and we just pick a location and we fast travel to it. As we've talked about in the past when it comes to, like, Rebirth and Beyond, like, them doing, like, zoned areas as opposed to, like, some level of open world, like, locations can be better, like, fleshed out and stuff. Because if they're trying to make it, like, an open world, like, 15, then it's going to be a barren fucking wasteland that's boring, right? And I'd rather have that. I would rather, again, have the ability to, like, just fast travel to locations with the airship as opposed to being able to fly if it means that the world overall will be better if that makes any sense quality over quantity as they say and that's what's so interesting about the remake trilogy is just how they're going to handle it because there's a lot of expectations with like an overworld with vehicles and things like that and it's when you play remake you know part one it's hard to think about there being vehicles like we do get vehicle segments with the motorcycle and stuff and that's what maybe could be insinuating that there's going to be like vehicles in the future because you do get to like control vehicles and stuff in the first game but it's like I don't know how they would do like the submarine stuff as much as I want that because it's in the original game. Like I just, and the whole like underwater explorable ocean and shit, like I, mean, I just don't know how they do it. <laughs> like, it, and I, that's what's so intriguing. And I'm very, very curious how it's going to be handled. Cause so when it came to the original game, like the underwater stuff isn't like that big. It's pretty cool for a time, obviously, but like no matter where you dive at in the world, you kind of go to the same like area to explore, right? Like even though that doesn't make sense, like in terms of size and shit like that, but if they're making, like, an overworld that's actually, like, pretty explorable compared to, like, the original FF7, then the underwater ocean would have to be on par as well. And I just... That's almost a whole other open world to explore, technically, or whatever the fuck. So I just don't know if they're going to be doing that or how that's all going to work. And I know we're kind of getting off topic here because we're not just talking about airships anymore. But, like, the submarine, I think, could be cut if they want to just do, like, boat stuff. We don't necessarily have to go under the water, but then I don't know how you do emerald weapon shit. And I think, like, the buggy itself could be cut because, again, we didn't really do a lot with it in the original game, but they just want to switch from, like, the buggy to, like, chocobos. Because the chocobos can kind of do it all in FF7 original, right? If you're breeding and stuff. Like, we, we could get a chocobo that can cross the river instead of the buggy from, like, Dio, right? Or something. Like, we, they could just cut the vehicle all together if they wanted to. And it's not a big... Whatever. Like, I, I have no attachments to the buggy. <laughs> I do like the submarine, though, because I like the underwater shit. That's more or less the video, my dudes. Again, this is a bit of a sort of a polarizing topic because there's always going to be a split in the community because there's going to be the old school players that want the ability to fly around and control an airship. And I'm there with you, my dudes. I've been that guy. I'm still that guy to a certain degree, but I'm also of the more modern mindset where it doesn't really matter. I just don't care that much. I do like the idea of like controlling an airship and being able to fly around and find secret shit. That'd be kind of cool. Like, obviously, we want that. But again, I've been playing Final Fantasy for most of my life, and like the more modern ones, like 10 and beyond, like you don't have that ability. And I'm just kind of used to just like picking a location and just fast travel into it, and that's perfectly fine. Would it have been cool to fly around Spear in 10? You goddamn right it would have been. <laughs> but it's like, whatever, it's still a great game. That's pretty much the video, my dudes. So, of course, pass off to you guys. When it comes to the topic of airships, and we're discussing 16 and also the remake trilogy, but obviously Rebirth in the third game. How do you think they're going to handle it? They're obviously going to be a part of the game. We have confirmation from Yoshida, and there's no way they're cutting the high wind from the remake trilogy. But are we ever actually controlling them? Are we just like picking locations? What are your expe expectations? I'm stuttering here. I'm getting, we've been recording for a little bit. And what do you think they're actually going to do? Your expectations versus what they actually might do. That is the video, my dudes. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Dash That's it. Bye. Used to care what people thought.
but now I care more, and nobody out here's got it figured out, so therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it, so insecure, no one's perfect, we spend it, with no shame, we blow that, like Coltrane, we in here, like Rogaine, or leave it, like Cobain.